Now that you've had the vaccine, there are a few things to watch out for. So you certainly might feel a little bit under the weather and fatigued today. Most people will have arm pain at the site of injection. You can use an ice pack or a heat pack to help with that pain. Some people may also have headaches, muscle aches or pains, joint aches or pains, or even a fever is normal after you have this vaccine. But thankfully, most of the symptoms last under 48 hours. The CDC says that you should try to avoid taking Tylenol or ibuprofen open. But if you feel like you need these medications, then call your doctor to discuss whether or not you should take them because some of these medications can affect the, the strength of your immune response. If you have any severe symptoms such as rash, severe vomiting, fever that's very high, or extreme swelling or pain at the site of injection, those should prompt you to call your doctor to make sure that you're not having a concerning reaction to the vaccine. If you receive the Pfizer vaccine today, you need to get your second shot at three weeks. If you receive the Moderna vaccine today, you need to get your second shot at four weeks. And it's really important to try to keep that timeline as close to that mark as possible. Even though you've had the vaccine, you need to continue to exercise some precautions. So the first is you still got to wear that mask. And there's really two reasons for that. One is to protect yourself, because remember, even after the vaccine, there's a one in 20 chance that you could catch COVID and get sick from it. And the second is to protect others, because we don't yet know whether you getting the vaccine prevents you from transmitting the virus to somebody else. So if there are other people in your community, in your household, or even others when you go out that haven't received the vaccine, those masks will protect them. You also need to keep your distance still and still keep washing your hands and avoiding those gatherings for those exact same reasons. Until we all get vaccinated and we're all able to feel pretty confident that we have immunity, we are gonna have to exercise these precautions to protect ourselves and to protect our neighbors. Congratulations on getting your vaccine. You're one step closer to being healthy. But now is not the time to stop taking care of your preventive health because getting today's vaccine is just part of your overall preventive health package. It's one of the ways in which you're gonna to continue to boost your immune system and keep your body healthy is to manage chronic medical problems. Nine Health offers a number of low cost preventive screenings which are as simple as the blood tests that you can get that can give you a lot of information about the status of your health and measures that you can take to optimize it. Remember, the COVID vaccine isn't the only vaccine that saves lives. You also want to think about other immunizations that you might need, but you want to make sure not to take them in a, in a way that might interfere with the timing of your COVID vaccinations, the first and the second dose. So you want to avoid taking any immunizations at least two weeks before you get your COVID vaccine. You want to avoid anything in between the first and the second dose. And then you want to avoid taking anything for at least two weeks after you get your second dose. Nine Health does offer antibody testing. So if you're curious about whether you have mounted antibodies, that's certainly something you can think about, but you don't absolutely have to do it because we feel like most people do make antibodies after they get the vaccine. The PCR test, which is the test that looks for active infection, does not turn positive with the vaccine. So if you're feeling sick or feeling under the weather, even after you get the vaccine, remember there's a chance you could still get coronavirus. It is important for you to go and get a PCR test to try to see if you might be infected because then you would need to follow the same precautions and same steps as somebody who didn't get the vaccine and got infected with coronavirus. If you have any questions at all, you can call the Nine Health Neighbors line where a medical volunteer will call you back within 24 hours to answer your questions. And it's a great way to really figure out what you need to do to get your preventive health in shape. Here's your prescription for prevention from Dr. Coley. Number one, get your COVID vaccine as soon as it's available to you. If you got your first dose today, remember to schedule that second dose at three weeks or four weeks, depending on which vaccine you got today. Keep wearing those masks, keep up that social distancing. Number two, keep up on your preventive health. A great way to do that is through Nine Health Preventive Screening, where you can go into a Quest Patient Service Center, have your blood work checked, and really get a good snapshot of where your preventive health is and what goals you need to set for yourself. And number three, reach out to the Nine Health Neighbors Line or to your primary care provider if you have any questions at all through this very difficult and confusing journey that we've all been through. But remember, prevention is the key to cure. 
and focusing on your prevention today will have huge payoffs tomorrow.